Unraveling the fear. Understanding, quail at something. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase in the English language, quail at something. This expression is not just about birds. It's a vivid way to talk about fear and apprehension. If you've ever felt suddenly scared or overwhelmed, understanding this phrase will add depth to your English vocabulary. Let's explore what it means to quail at something and how you can use it in your conversations. To quail at something means to feel fear, intimidation, or apprehension about a particular situation, task, or challenge. The imagery here is key. Think of a small bird, like a quail, suddenly scared and trying to flee. This metaphor captures the essence of human fear and hesitation. When someone quails at something, they are not just a little worried, they are deeply affected by the prospect of facing whatever it is that's causing them concern. The phrase, quail at something, has its roots in the Middle Ages, showing how long humans have been finding creative ways to express fear. Over the centuries, it has been used in literature and speech to vividly describe a strong emotional reaction to intimidation or danger. Using quail at something in a sentence can add a layer of sophistication to your language. For example, he quailed at the thought of speaking in front of the large crowd. Many quail at the idea of change, preferring the comfort of the familiar. It's a powerful way to convey the depth of someone's fear or apprehension. In modern English, quail at something is perhaps less common in everyday speech but still very much alive in writing and more formal or descriptive contexts. It's a great phrase to use when you want to emphasize the intensity of someone's fear or hesitation. For instance, despite her experience, she quailed at the new responsibilities of her promotion. The team quailed at the prospect of competing against the reigning champions. Understanding and using the phrase, quail at something, can enrich your English vocabulary and help you express emotions with precision and depth. Whether you're writing a story, describing a personal experience, or trying to capture the nuance of fear in speech, this phrase offers a colorful and evocative way to do so. I hope this video has illuminated this intriguing expression for you, and I look forward to bringing more insights into the English language in our future videos. Thanks for watching, and don't quail at the chance to practice what you've learned today.